What's going on everybody? This is Julian Stout, licensed personal trainer, licensed PE teacher, world record powerlifter, here to take the fear out of fitness and help you be the best you. Today's topic is Angela White drops the Black China moniker in order to reveal that she is taking herself more seriously in her endeavors. She has removed many of the enhancements that she had originally purchased in order to reveal the best version of herself. The reason why I'm bringing this up, normally I don't touch on these subjects per se unless it pertains to fitness. And the reason why I'm bringing up Black China in this particular situation is because we have she is going to reveal some things to you about why she made these changes and one of them has to deal with exercise all right i i and it also has everything to do with being the best version of you that you can be so in other words this is a message to not only the men out here about being the best version of you but it's also a message to the women about being the best version of you that you can be and accepting who you are through hard work now without further ado i'm not going to ramble too much i'm going to play this video Well, you've gone through some major life changes in recent Fair weeks. Use. Yes, been oh, very public about your breast reduction, mm -hmm. your backside reduced, and getting your fillers dissolved. Yes. Why did you choose to do it so publicly? It just came to me. It came from God. Honestly, when I posted, I didn't even think that it was going to be as big as it was. I want to also point out she's. And then by me so seeing that, it made me feel like wow, like really comfortable to even go back on the internet because I kind of like stop posting as much as I used to. Um, but now like everybody has been supporting it. So I'm like, okay, this gives me like the carriage to keep going and see how far I can go. So it makes me feel really good. I'm glad I did do it. You are receiving overwhelming support. Yeah, I didn't even, I, yeah, it just came to me. I didn't even think it was gonna be as big as it, as it was yeah. or is. Yeah, everyone's really proud of you. Yeah, thank you. So you said it came from God. Tell me about that. I, I want to know about the work we're not seeing because I know you had to do a lot of internal work as well. Now, I'm not going to discuss theology on this channel. You know, whether or not I believe in God is one thing, but I'm not going to, you know, beat you over the head and become a Bible thumper on this channel. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. That's my personal thing. But at the same time, and that might, that's obviously one of her motivations, but she said clearly there was an internal shift. And that internal shift, even though it is through divine intervention, the truth is that intervention can happen even without divine intervention. And I want people to understand that this shift in her person made her realize that she has opportunities to become the best version of herself through hard work and not through enhancements through financial means. I, I believe that true beauty comes from the hard work and effort anyone puts in, male or female or non-binary, puts in for their, for themselves. And whatever the beauty that comes out is, it's the result and therefore let it be what it is. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of enhancing oneself financially. I want people to enhance themselves through hard work because it builds character. But I digress. Let's continue. Yes, and continuing to also. So on my birthday, I got, I got baptized on my birthday. So I was reborn on my birthday and that was May 11th of 2022. So from there, I was like, you know, just start taking the steps that I knew, which was more of the truth. You know, like what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. So that's kind of like how I've been stepping, going to church. Um, hi, Bishop James. 
Mom and Venice. Uh, going to church and just having my church family and my the other people that like pray for me and pray with me because you can't do it by yourself. You. What have I always said? Nobody gets to success alone. My success right now, what little it is on this YouTube channel, is coming from you guys. It's not because, you know, yes, I have a part to play in it through the hard work and effort that I'm using. I'm utilizing to become better at this, but I am not doing this by myself, any of it. So she's absolutely right, but I'm going to move forward a little bit further because I want to address another aspect of this where the subject matter pertains to the fitness. All right. And, and <sighs> there was no one exact moment there was no one defining moment you can think of that just made you realize i have to do something it, it wasn't really literally i'm just i've been just like walking on water yeah it wasn't like okay this happened i didn't get sick i wasn't ill um n nothing of the sort i was just like you know what but working out, I mean, working out is what kind of like maybe kind of led to it a little bit yeah. because I start, as I said before, when I started working out, all of the fillers started to become more protruded because I started to slim down. I could really see like my facial structure, but nothing like traumatic that's, that happened. Nothing traumatic. Okay. I'm going to stop there because nothing traumatic happened, but... The changes that she made internally began to manifest themselves outwardly. And those manifestations started to reveal her enhancements in a way where it started to make her look unnatural. And as a result, she decided it is time to remove those enhancements. Because if you think about it, if she's working out, she's going to reduce her body fat percentage, which therefore reveals more muscle tone, which therefore starts to reveal the enhancements in a cartoonish way, as opposed to it looking more supposedly natural. And as a result, she wanted to maintain her beauty as much as humanly possible without revealing the absurdity of the enhancements. Yes, yeah, she's never, never hid the fact that she was enhanced, but at the same time, those enhancements being revealed as you're transforming is also a problem. So I want you guys to understand that this transformation for her is coming through hard work now. Yes, she was getting a lot of attention as a result of those enhancements. So for those of you who want to make that argument, that's all well and good. She did garner attention with those enhancements. However, now that she has found her internal value, she now wants to express that internal value outwardly. And you cannot express your internal value outwardly when you are being enhanced by things that are artificial. It's not real. It's not you. Whereas if you develop muscle tone, if you develop a different physique through hard work and your efforts, it's still you because that aspect of you will always remain. So therefore, I want you to really truly get that portion of her message inside of your head. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, feel free to comment below. If you want to send me some videos, feel free to go to my Facebook channel or my Facebook page or my Instagram page to send me videos, message me videos, and I'll be more than happy to review them and react to them there. All right. So don't forget to like, subscribe, click the, the subscribe button and the all notifications so that way you can get everything that I will post. Have a nice day and be the best you.